what up y'all and welcome back to the channel dap universal i'm dap so coming back at you with another pick a card reading from my bed why why not some full moon in pisces tonight i'm indulging in myself my venus is in pisces mm. and it's in the seventh house so um i felt a great reading for the night's energy would be i don't know um who am i gonna marry or for, for people who may not want to get married one day, maybe it's more so of a, um, uh, who am I going to end up with? Who's my life partner, right? So that's pretty much the intention of the reading. Um, so I'm basically just going to be describing the personality of your person, maybe um, certain parts of their astrology chart for you to look out for, um, leaving it quite open. I don't know if you're with this person, know this person, never met this person it's gonna be up to you and your intuition as of always um, I don't mention this all the time but I shouldn't have to mention it but I'm gonna mention it today take what resonates and leave what doesn't these are general messages don't let tarot especially from um, a pick a card reading on YouTube um, heavily dictate your life or put you in a situation where you feel like um, you're being controlled by something other than your own free will because that is everybody's gift yes i have the gift of sight and i can you know read the cards and whatnot but everybody has the gift of free will so use it as you shall but um anyway like and subscribe to the channel if you want to appreciate it um comment and let me know how this resonated once you watch your reading but you'll be picking between three piles um pile number one is going to be the apple pile number two is the banana and pile number three is the cherry i'll show you um those uh cool little neon <laughs> um lights to choose from i thought they matched the channel really well but um anyway i'm gonna bore you to death go ahead and uh pick your pile and i will see you at your reading bye for now pile number one if you chose the apple welcome to your reading and we're looking into um who's your future spouse who will you marry one day who's gonna be your future life partner okay so getting into it i feel like pile number one um y'all's people definitely are driven they may have gone through a lot of um hard situations maybe a hard time Maybe um, they went through some uh, trials uh, with their home situation. Maybe they had some issues with their parents. Some of them may have even lost their parents at a young age. I'm hearing maybe an orphan um, for some of them. Um, others, uh, they may have to take care of a sick parent or grandparent. That may be an energy. Um, this person could very well um, also feel like when you meet, it's going to feel like they're living their life um, through someone else or something like that. It's like they're living their life for somebody else. They may be the energy of going through a divorce or breakup um, and they're trying to get back um, into figuring out what feels normal for them. Um, I'm feeling like some of them may also be um, somewhat immature or they may come across as someone one really immature in the sense of like when it comes down to love, um, they may like really be um, against committing or like they may give you the impression that they are just here for a fun time not a long time a good time not a long time but um little do they know um something about your connection is going to knock them off their feet and, and vice versa um also getting that this person may be uh, a cancer um a taurus scorpio but let's get into it um this person's energy like how they see the world um, maybe a little bit of a pessimist with debilitated. They may be somewhat of, um, they, they may be looking at the uh, the glass half empty. Mm -hmm. They may also be a Libra rising. They may be a Libra rising. But um, because of what they've gone through, they may see the, uh, the world as hard or things happening to them. Like they may be at the precipice of having like a real spiritual awakening. Um, I feel like they are empaths, but they may not be fully into their gifts when you meet this person. Um, 
Okay, the four of wands with the five of pentacles. We do have um, something about uh, having to move back in with the parents or something like that or move um, from a comfortable situation to an uncomfortable situation. Like say if it happened after a breakup, um, this could very well be you to put yourself in the energy as well. When you meet this person, you may be in that kind of a situation. You may both be in that situation. But really, I'm trying to focus more so on who this person is um and their like personality so they'd be easy to spot but you do have um as as like their main energy when you come into uh, when you meet this person like who they are um to you like the thing that stands out the most is their drive they have purpose as their um life lessons card right in the middle and it says i know what i am here to do and it's like saying um, something about sacrifice comes up too. Like maybe they, uh, you may look at them like, well, you really did give up a lot to, 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 to live your truth. Queen of Swords, um, Knight of Hearts or Knight of Cups, which is um, basically, they may see the relationship or may see a relationship as a distraction. So they may avoid it in the beginning. Um, they may see it as something that they're not able to handle. Um, because of their, their situation with maybe um, their emotional state, they may be, have anxiety or they may really just not want to deal with anything. So they may be using um, people or new connections as a way of escapism. That kind of thing happens. They may, like we meet this person, they may, they may be dating multiple people. That could be a thing. But when it comes down to their, um, to the real sense of like, who they are um, beyond that, they do have the Hierophant. And it's a wise person who is put here to experience a lot of that pain um, that they've gone through already so they can alchemize it, so they can transmute it into um, healing, so they can give it back to the world and make um, and, and make that those bad situations or those hard times um, worth something even more. It's like, uh, if you if you turn that 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 trauma into healing for other people, so that way maybe they don't have to go through it, or 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 they don't have to feel as alone as you did when you felt it or they felt it. It's like saying um, that pain that that they that they went through, that you went through, um, wasn't in vain. It's like it's saying that it, it's a superpower now. It, it, it healed the world in a sense. You had to go through what you went through, and they realize that too, or they're on the path of realizing that when you meet. But they um, are very honest, um, very stubborn though. They're very stubborn. And um, they may have like a um, something very uh, aesthetically pleasing about them. Like they may have a nice body. They may look um, like they are in good health, um, like like super healthy or something like that. They may have a, a really healthy head of hair, I'm getting for some reason. Um, they may also be older than you. They may also be older than you. All right, so when it comes down to um, their emotions, like how they, show their emotions how they how they um present themselves initially you do have new moon and cancer relax and it's saying like they're, they're pretty much calm cool and collected um again something comes up about them looking for a place to live um for some of y'all it's a few of y'all just like take it as it resonates they may have just gotten out of jail or um like say a hospital type situation like mental institution like they're like something like that i see the eight of, of swords as like an energy of um being somewhere that you can't really get out of, like behind bars or something. Um, especially with New Moon and Cancer, it's like um, getting their uh, their whole sense of um, what they find to be safe and secure kind of swapped around and like um, inverted in a sense. So it's like, I really feel like for a couple of y'all, this person um, spent time in jail or in prison. For some of y'all, they may have just gotten out. For some, they may have been out for a while, but it's like saying they're still trying to pick up the, the um, pick up the pieces, get the life together. That's just for a couple. Um, also, I'm seeing something about the five of wands and the ten of swords. This could also be um, for other people a divorce situation where they were married or they were in a long term. Um, relationship with somebody and it didn't work out and they ended up having to start all over again losing their their place um something like that it's like 
it, it was hard on them financially as well. And there's also something about how like maybe right now they're focused on um, healing that inner child, feeling free, feel like if they was stuck somewhere or stuck with somebody, it's like saying either way, now when they meet you, they're, they're very much in the energy of trying to um, figure out what it is they like to do, how to make themselves feel like, you know, what? I'm damn good company. I don't need them. I don't need this. You know, I'm trying to get to know myself again and love myself, you know, take myself out on a date. You know, if I, if I, and if I get lucky, I may give my damn self some, you know, if I play my cards right. It's like saying getting to know um, themselves on a, on, a, on a real intimate level um, with the child I was meant to be, healing that inner child. And so when they meet you, it feels like to them a little bit uncomfortable or like out of source, like this must not be right. I'm supposed to be like, you know, in this energy of, of being free and shit. And for some of them, they have been in the energy for too long. Like maybe you learned a lesson, like there's love out there for you. And part of the lesson, the, the biggest lesson that we all come down here to learn is what? To love. Love comes in all forms. The greater, There's no greater goal than to love. Like fuck everything else, really. Um, and I'm not talking about just romantic love, just that, that pure vibration of feeling so connected that I love you because you are me type energy. Like, and you give them the opportunity to do that. Two hearts on the bottom of the deck. And it does say love. And I feel like for a lot of y'all, this, this person might be a Taurus or a Cancer. But um, also, um, they may have two jobs or they may have um, two different lifestyles or something like that. Like they may um, be like somebody who is real one way during the day, but maybe real a different way at night, like real like strict or like have a, a position where they have to be very professional. But as soon as they get off, they may do something crazy like they may they may be in a biker club they may do drag or some shit. i don't know but it's like saying they, they do um have like a very uh distinctive divide between um themselves and it's, it's more than just having a, two jobs unless it's like going to work and then having like a whole business on the side that may be a thing for them that may be a thing for you and, then, and what they do they may be um into something that's not very conventional they may be into like um social media or marketing or like um, freelancing for something or just something very specific but I do want to look to see more into the connection about um, the love energy or the romantic energy be between you and them and we have Cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting hesitation they come out of they come out of nowhere um, the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. And on the bottom of the deck, you have Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth, and change mind. I think you both may be in a period where you're like, fuck love, I'm, I'm good, I don't want it, I'm good, no, it's fine, thank you, thank you so much, Spirit, for the offer, but I'm good, mm-mm, mm-mm, I'm good, thank you. And, um, you meet this person and you really see the light. You realize that um, maybe there is no greater goal than love. But I did pull you one more card, and it's um, one of these crystal. Um, um, what is it? The, the archangels and gemstone um, oracle cards to kind of give you a sense of like maybe why your souls came together on a higher perspective, like maybe what the lesson in love is for you both. Um, what area that kind of resides in and, and you pull the dolomite and it says have you wanted to do something artistic are you feeling creative let your inspiration flow and generate your insight into manifest reality it doesn't matter what it is it could be a nice meal a pretty garden an amazing photograph or some sewing project regardless now is the time to produce it it will bring you fulfillment and purpose Fulfillment and purpose. You may meet this person while they're doing like doing a hobby or something like um, see them in their element and they may see you in your element. It's like it's like you may really come together on um, or find common ground as being very artistic together. Maybe this person inspires you and you inspire them. But on the back it says um, an arc, it's an affirmation of Archangel Gabriel. 
And this speaks to both of you. And maybe a lesson that both of you learn. And it says, I relax my mind, body, and spirit to meditate regularly. Great ideas are constantly flowing into my mind. It is fulfilling to follow through on creative thoughts and manifest my reality. I take enthusiastic action and I am productive. And um, with that being said, guys, that's all I got for you. Just a quick nugget. Um, let me know if you want um, more of like a, a series or a playlist of these future um, uh, spouse or partner type readings. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. We can, we can go deep, deep. But, um, but for now, just take this with you. And that is if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings in all we do. Bye. What up, pal number two? If you chose the banana, welcome to your reading. So we're looking into um, what your future spouse is gonna be like. Who is your future spouse? Um, your partner, life partner, that sort of energy. So what I'm picking up on off the bat is this person may actually have a lot of money when you meet. This person may actually have a lot of money, a lot of resources. Um, they have the bag is what I'm saying. A lot of it and um, I feel like uh, that may be something that either you're not used to or something that catches you off guard because of how they present themselves they don't you would never know you would never know um, but I do see here with this ten of Pentacles this cat got all the food and a, and and a nice little ear rub like he's, he's living the life he's comfortable he's comfortable and he has enough um, to not worry if that makes sense. I don't know if they're like rich, rich, but they got enough money to where like, in your perspective, you like, okay, 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 good, okay. That's you. Like, so it's like compared to whatever you got, and I don't know where you are or how, what your finances look like, theirs is um, more, <laughs> quite simply. Um, how they move in the world, like um, they, they seem to be very much hopeless romantics, um, very much invested in relationships, partnerships, either with friends or businesses or whatever, but like they do pull um, Libra and as the first card that comes out. So it's like to me like a Libra ascendant or somebody who um, is also very attractive. Um, Venus ruling like the first house type of energy is like, they may be very attractive, very artistic or something like that, or they may really, really, really value um, their connections with people. Um, for one or two of y'all, and I only want to say it, they may still be married when you meet this person, either going through a divorce or maybe not going through a divorce, but they may be married or with somebody when you meet them and they may change over time, but it's like saying something may very well be complicated. Y'all may be karmic partners or something like that, where it feels like um, the everything is like, all y'all wanna do is love each other, but something always gets in the way. That could very much be a thing in the beginning. But, um, I do want to pull a couple cards. <laughs> Clarifying this Ten of Pentacles for me. Please hear it. Ooh. Six of Hearts. King of Wands. Feels like an inheritance. Feels like an inheritance or, or, or money that they have sustained or, um, or uh, built for themselves or attained for themselves a long time ago. This isn't brand new to them, is what I'm saying. Six of Wands comes up. Yeah, they're used to it. It's like it's, it's like they're used to having money. So it may be passed down to them. Money may run in the family. Or a business may have been passed down to them. They may, there may be a family business. Um, they may also be very well known. That's interesting. They may also be really well known. maybe someone in the public or actors or something like that. It's like some of y'all may actually end up marrying somebody um, who was very well known or famous. I didn't think that was gonna come out, but somebody here. Or you as well may end up being famous and that's when you meet this person, y'all be on the same level, but they still will have more money than you. Um, <laughs> also something about this person uh, doesn't seem to sleep very well. They may have like a lot of energy or something like that. Like they may, they may always be up or something like that. They may be night owls. Um, that may be a thing. Or they may work really late or something like that. If they, if they are very hard workers, they may work throughout the night or something like that um, for a couple of y'all. Y'all may meet 
um, because uh, both of y'all um, were having a hard time sleeping or something like that. You end up being in the right, same place at the same time. Um, the the thing that throws you off guard is in the beginning, I don't think you know this person has like a lot of money or a lot of wealth um, because the life lesson that they are here to learn um, is envy. And it says, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. And when I see Libra coming up twice, by the way, Libra in the first card that I pulled and then in the emotional energy of the moon energy, they pull Libra again, full moon and Libra. So this person does not come across as, um, as being um, shallow or envious or even acknowledging that. It's like they don't really, um, they're not very extravagant in, in the way that they, they, they are with their money. And I feel like they're humble. And maybe to even avoid this energy of, um, of envy. Like, I don't want to show it off because if I just show it off, it's going to it's just gonna attract people that I don't want in my energy. Touche. Yeah, that's true. Never thought about it like that. <laughs> but let's see, clarify that. Ooh, shit. Five of swords, three of pentacles, seven of wands. Yeah, and I think they use it as a form of protection, like I said. Um, sharks in the water when people know there's money involved. Attract bad situations. Maybe they have already been through that before with somebody. The Seven of Wands comes up as well. Protecting their energy. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, they, they may uh, really try to keep that part of themselves to themselves. And actually be conscious about not um, showing off or being uh, that, you know, that, that type of... Um, that being open about their, their uh, money or where they are, how comfortable they really are. It, it will surprise you. Some of them want a lawsuit. Some of them may be lawyers as well. Um, some of them may just be like really, some about caregivers or giving back to somebody. Three of Wands, um, starting a foundation, a charity or something like that. Some of them may um, have a really big heart and when it comes down to that. Um, also, maybe this person worked a lot or maybe they were in situations where they could not actually feel free or alive or i'm um, able to enjoy themselves in that money i guess but like the gilded regret card comes up saying that um they, they may have sacrificed a lot to get to where they are and cer cer certain people um they may um be struggling with some kind of addiction or some kind of relationship that they can't seem to get away from whether it's romantic or not um, I do get a sense of something making them feel like there is just, just, just something that could really make me happy. It's like, I have, like, they're, they're fine, they're comfortable, like, when you see this person, they're gonna seem very well put together, but it's like, there's a big hole in their heart. Jack of Wands, and they try to fill it, um, through a lot of things, they're trying to figure out what would fill it. I think maybe a genuine connection, um, having someone uh, who they feel really connected to um, and someone who really understands where they're coming from and that kind of thing without judgment and let them be vulnerable is kind of what they're looking for. Some some kind of emotional support. Emotional support. Eight of cups on the bottom of the deck. Emotional support. They, like someone who um, would be there uh, through sickness and health. So that's what I'm saying. Some of them may have gone through divorce. Like they feel betrayed by somebody. Um, but the third pinnacles comes up as well. Um, talking about you may have met this person at work. You may work for this person. Also, uh, this person um, may really help you out in certain ways. Um, they, they may have um, enough funds to help you, say, uh, invest in your own company or invest in, you know what I'm saying? It's like help you. Not, not in a sense of like, Oh, date this person because they're gonna give you something. I know you're, not, you're. I know you're not thinking that. That's not even what the situation is. But it is saying like they have enough to where they would want you to be successful. Therefore, they would invest into you. That's why I'm using the word invest into you because um, y'all are gonna get married and this shit's gonna pay back out to them anyway. So just saying, right? <laughs> that would be the smartest thing to do, but they don't go into it thinking that. But I'm gonna pull some love oracles to see what else may be in the situation for you. We have the snake. Okay. All 
All right, taking that one. The snake, soulmates, and separation. Yeah, some of them literally may be married. Some of y'all may have uh, tried before in the past and it didn't work out and it's coming back around. But I see the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, and the other woman. And the other woman. You also have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. And soulmates. Duh. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Some of y'all may have had past lives together. Mm -hmm. So there's all this Libra and energy. It's like something about balancing that out. Maybe y'all couldn't be together in the past life or something like that. Maybe it's, it just could not happen. And you're getting to try that over again or getting to, to learn that lesson with each other again. Um, so maybe you can experience that this time. But uh, I did pull you one last card and it is an Oracle card. Uh, that kind of ties into maybe what the bigger message or the higher message is as to why you um what you're to learn with this person what you both are to learn because it's going to be the same or similar message right but you pull the cobalt tool and calcite which is really cool because it says are you in love are you craving health and feelings of well-being become a conduit for allowing heaven and earth to meet you at your center it is time to acknowledge the essence of the divine love in you. Take the time to nurture yourself. Imagine yourself in the arms of the divine mother. Some of y'all gonna have kids with this person. On the back it says Archangel Jophiel. I activate and embrace divine love. My emotions are balanced. I am clear and joyful. I am compassionate, wise, and tolerant. The qualities of unconditional love, mercy, and understanding emanate from my being. Nice. And with that being said, that's all I got for you. Sound off in the comments. Let me know how it resonated. Subscribe if you haven't already if you want to. But um, until next time, guys, remember this forever and always. If you got spirit, what? Spirit got you. Blessings in all we do. Bye. What up, pal three? If you chose the cherries, welcome to your reading. Huh? Looking into who you gonna end up with? Who gonna be? Who, who you gonna marry? Who your future spouse is, and um, or your life partner? So, um, just looking at the cards that I have before me, just oracles. Um, I would say this person is very much in Taurus energy. They could be very much Taurus, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, they could also be Aries. Um, or Aries rising. Also, I'm seeing uh, Libra and Cancer and Leo. So they may have any of those placements. But they are a person who uh, you may think, okay, maybe not think, maybe you may notice, this person would be terribly undecided, flighty, if, if, if not wishy-washy. In one minute, out one minute, it seems like not able to really um, give you a clear understanding of where y'all stand in the beginning. You may also be friends um, going into this. Like you may end up, like you may have started the the, the the relationship or the connection as friends. I can see that, but they 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 come across as real conflicted in what they want. Like they don't know what they want. Um, some of them may be. Uh, Okay, so some of them may have an opportunity. This is like very specific and maybe for one or two, but may have an opportunity to, to move somewhere else or start a new life somewhere or, or do something new that requires like all their energy and then they meet you. And then the feelings start. It's like saying like um, the timing to them. They, they, would, they would put it on the timing. And I feel like the timing would be just a test. Um, like I feel like everything happens in divine timing and nothing happens when we're ready to right so it's like saying um this person may really get fixated on the fact like damn I, but i was really gonna do something else. i was going completely left and then you just popped up of course you did <laughs> but and it's gonna make them really think about where they're going or what they're doing and how to fit you into their life because um, I think they'll realize something about like um, maybe they started this thing where they were going to invest so much into to whatever it is that they're doing 
um, just so they uh, wouldn't have to think about being lonely, just so they wouldn't have to feel like they're not living up to their potential or something like that. But then they get that, that what they really want, which is a, um, a connection, honest connection. But it's like they're still in that mode of like, wait, I'm doing something, though. But I think they do come to the conclusion like, well, I was only really going so far into this right now because I didn't have anything else going on. But if I have an opportunity to be with you, pile number three, I'm going to fit you in how, how I can. We're going to fit you in how you get in, okay? Yeah. You'll mean that much to them. And um, something about like maybe you may be more spiritual um, you may really open their eyes to a lot of things, but um, something about just your presence alone, without you having to mention it or say anything, just just how you are, just being who you are, you invite them to be more intuitive, make decisions more so on um, their emotions and how they feel about something, how something sits with them, rather than what they feel is right or wrong. I say that because the main experience in this lifetime or a test in this lifetime is indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Yep, yep, yep. They're already very naturally intuitive, but I feel like um, for some of them, maybe your energy or your presence kind of help them to see um, how valuable it is to sometimes just go with your intuition and trust it. And trust it. Others of y'all, they may actually already be tarot readers or something like that, um, or spiritual people already. And um, they have learned that lesson already, but um, still though, they were, the first part about them focusing on some other energy when they meet you, or they uh, decide that, that um, they wanna take things to the next level, um, that still sits, but this, woo. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands. Again, new energy with the Ace of diamond so yeah something popping off new for them and not just this connection but the nine of wands as well fighting for it trying to make something happen they're like they may be at the tail end of a project like or like really deep into it already and um really really trying hard to make whatever this is work out for them it comes down to their emotions their moon energy is Full moon in Leo. Don't let your pride get in the way. Um, they're very prideful people. They're very go-getters and driven people. Um, they 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 want success. They want they 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 feel like they have to finish what they start. In this sense, six of hearts. Um, some about making their their parents proud, or their family proud. Seven of wands. Um, maybe they're okay. The king of diamonds. Maybe their their parents invested in them or something or. or um, or really, really value, like say an education, they're like in school or something like that. It's like saying they're doing it um, also because of other people influencing them, influencing them like their family and then just, just their own upbringing. Ten of Diamonds, yeah, they know they're supposed to be successful. They know they're supposed to have the bag. They know they're supposed to get the money. Um, so they very much are focused on that when, when y'all meet. Could have a lot of Capricorn placements as well. Even Virgo. But... Also, though, meeting you will feel like a, a breath of fresh air because um, you'll be a person that they can actually be their self around because I'm getting the energy of like maybe they, they wear a lot of different hats where they feel like um, parts of themselves are broken into um, different pieces or something like that. And, they, and it's like they're almost losing their identity when they meet you. Fragmentation. Number 27. 27 may be a, a relevant number for you. They may be 27 or maybe they or you have gone through something really hard in a relationship at 27 and it may have broken you or you thought it broke, broke you and now you're reflecting on it like damn who would have thought at this point or ever I, I, I would be in a position where I think I, I want to be with somebody trust me I know how that feels and I was 27 is this my pile? maybe but um, I do see that y'all maybe start as friends first. And even if there's always been like a, a certain era of like romance to it or whatever, 
it's like y'all s still value being friends first and that really is a trick i think um building a foundation on um we actually just like each other's company and we like you know what i'm saying makes things so smooth in the long run i mean it's gonna be i mean this, this thing is like smooth it's gonna be hard relationships are hard other people's energies are hard um especially if you've been dealing with just your own energy for a while but it's like saying y'all will be very much friends first and value friendship above everything with each other and that's exactly what you need that's exactly what they need but um i'm gonna leave it there interesting though uh, i did pull you one more more one last card and it is a um archangels and uh gemstone guardians card to see maybe what the lesson is that you both learn or what you both are meant to learn um coming into each other's energy meeting each other this soul made it energy right and you pull the pink tourmaline and it says do you treat yourself well what kind of self-talk is going on in your mind pay attention to how well you treat yourself and be aware of your inner chatter and make changes towards love treat <laughs> treat yourself the way you want to be treated it's time to awaken your consciousness and focus on love for yourself. And on the back, it says Archangel Chamuel. It's a nice little affirmation here for you. And it says, Unconditional love is mine today and always. Every cell, I sp Whoa, every cell in my being vibrates at the rate of love. I feel good. I am happy. I am grateful. The energy of my own loving vibration nurtures my thoughts and feelings. And with that, my friends, sound off in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. Um, and always remember, take this as a final final little message, a little, little nugget. And um, this won't change, but if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings in all we do. Bye. Mm -mm -mm.